hi everyone and welcome back in this video we are going to talk about restaurant service and we are going to talk about what all modules it will have what is the database design we have already discussed so we will convert these tables into real entities okay real type ORM entities so let's get started here is our user service inside this we will just copy the the basic entity structure we have so we had the user entity I will just copy this and inside restaurant service now we are going to have what all store means restaurant okay restaurant will have address entities and all so I will just create a folder inside it and inside entity I will just maybe paste this and then we will change this name to restaurant So this is restaurant entity then we have address and then we have dish so I will just rename these dish dot entity dot ts and then restaurant address I mean these are like uh, some entities you can just name them based on your comfort I will just rename it this is restaurant address okay so we have three different entities I will just ne re uh, just update their names so this is the main restaurant entity and then there are many to many columns like uh, restaurant likes or dish likes let's create those entities also so you have favorite restaurant and your favorite dishes restaurant dot favorite dishes dot entity dot ts okay so we have like five different tables we have created restaurant entity with restaurant s and then this is my restaurant entity okay we will just update these fields these fields are common like created at updated at we can still keep and this id is a primary key rest all we need to change so in restaurant what all properties we have name description cuisine so we will update that name do we need uniqueness true no right select true name description description let's keep it work it do not assign length so it will be a n length okay so i mean the variable length in the postgres column name description cuisine contact number so here is contact number that is string open set close set and delivery options pickup options we'll keep these for now as string what are the field name delivery options and pickup options and we have pickup options okay so now we have delivery option restaurant image url we can call it as a banner banner is like okay what is your tagline what is your banner which you want to put that's of type string pickup option restaurant image url and then open set closes it this will be of a timestamp so let's call it as open set I mean this will be of type date but of type string date string right so this is still a date we have 
because it's going to be the date ISO string so we can keep these as a string columns okay now this is a restaurant entity right we have ID as a primary key name couple of fields and now restaurant will have a relationship with address and dishes so I will just put restaurant restaurant address entity and here I will just rename it to restaurant address okay because there will be a single address restaurant address entity ID will be a primary key and we will change some of the columns so here in the restaurant address what do we have restaurant ID I mean and the address city street country pin code so let's quickly add those city city street pin code country state okay so this is all of type string you can set a length also like country won't be going more than this length street is fine pin code we can put length country we can put length and the state we can put length so it won't create a variable length post this column okay this is the restaurant address entity we have now this is going to have a relationship with the restaurant column right so I'm going to just use this one to one entity because it is going to have the restaurant uh, ID as a relationship and we are going to define one to one relationship here with the target which is restaurant restaurant entity and this target ID is restaurant ID this is a join column reference column name is ID and the target is the restaurant entity so it is going to store restaurant ID as a join column import this all missing stuff we got it so this is the one to one relationship one address will be mapped to one restaurant ID similarly uh, let's copy things and we are going to create inside a dish so this is restaurant dishes restaurant dish entity or I mean I'm just creating a prefix restaurant so the dish belongs to the restaurant ID and now what do we have in the dish restaurant ID name description and all so it's like a foreign key restaurant ID will be a foreign key in the dish right similarly that restaurant address there were restaurant ID was a foreign key but it was one to one because one restaurant address will be mapped to the one restaurant but here one restaurant can have multiple dishes right so it's like one to many it's like one to many you can see it's a primary key foreign key and this is one to one the relationship symbol is not correct but it's one to one this is one to many and these are many to many because one restaurant uh, one dish item can be favorited by the multiple users or a single user can favorite a multiple restaurant dish so here uh, restaurant dish entity first we will talk about joining the columns we'll talk about join so this is restaurant dish and the restaurant so i will use these uh, my bible I mean sometimes we it get confused what we are writing so I just keep it like this so one to many restaurant this will go to the source first and then we'll come to the target so this is restaurant entity we go to the bottom and here it is a source so this is restaurant menu restaurant this entity and this is restaurant 
restaurant dish entity will be an array because one restaurant will have multiple restaurant dish and this will go inside a target and I will explain what it is so we need to create a variable restaurant in the restaurant dish entity so this is source props this is and this is source entity we are going to have a restaurant here restaurant dish restaurant was mapped to the dishes there are multiple dishes this is target menu to one and what is the uh, join column we are going to have because this is restaurant dish so those dish will have a restaurant id reference column so now it is clear we have restaurant restaurant okay these are this is linked properly many to one one to many so one restaurant will have many dishes so you know where to put one to many and where to put many to one this restaurant will have many dishes so one restaurant will have many dishes one to many so it will be linked to the restaurant dish entity and the source will be restaurant and the dishes will be a multiple dish entity now here it is many to one because many dishes will point to the one restaurant entity so this is the one to many and this is the target because there will be one restaurant for it and it is mapped to the dishes column join column means when you create a join when the type ORM do the migrations either it will create automatically if the if you have synchronization true and then this is a restaurant restaurant entity is a single entity and this is the array so this is how we have one to one and one to many now inside dishes we have name description price so I will just copy a couple of things name description price this is restaurant dish name description price tag which is of type let's say number I think there is a column integer or int I need to check what all column options we have type column type Deal with constructors. Type is number. So I'm just putting uh, maybe integer. That would be better. Name type price. Category food type ingredient. So those will be a string. And let's keep them variable length category food type ingredients will be like long text ingredients and then dish image URLs I mean there will be multiple images or you can say multiple files images string URLs worker it should be a jsonb jsonb is a postgres column you can have an object uh, with array and all these things so i will just put any for now because i haven't decided any structure of this column you can say thumbnails is better okay so let's try to run this restaurant dishes restaurant address restaurant entity and then let's create these a uh, little later I will just delete them for now domain module so let's try to run this if everything is fine domain module here we are using entities so what all entities we have restaurant address entity So there is a restaurant entity, restaurant address entity, restaurant dish. 
entity let's import all these things I import all I didn't try to run this so first we will build it restaurant service so we are just using nx command npx nx build and the package name I mean this is the application name we are building so build is fine and then here I'm going to start dev so let's see if it is I will just stop the user service so that is running start dev unable to connect okay that is I think expected I need to check docker compose okay I don't have a docker running first thing I will do is I will start the docker and then I will do docker compose up we already have a docker compose file and docker compose yml and I'm going to use this database host port is 5435 so go to your env 5435 I also need to change the database names here and maybe bootstrap these containers again the auth api restaurant api 5435 let's see our docker containers maybe docker compose down and up it again also prune the volumes okay so what else we have is i will just try to docker compose up and it should create my containers with the default database so here you can see database has been created so we are good auth api and restaurant api so this is we need to connect to restaurant api 5435 this is my port so i will update the env 5435 and the database name is this I will start my app again so now it is using uh, this port and it did run some migrations so what I will do is I will check if these tables has been created looks like they have been so there is a tool I'm using what is the URL for this is this so here we can see restaurant Okay, this is fine restaurant dishes this has this restaurant ID restaurant address this is a primary key and the restaurant ID is a foreign key restaurant dishes restaurant ID is there there should be two constraints uh, here in the address uh, this is the restaurant ID and this is primary key foreign key restaurant dishes this is nullable no this is the primary key and this is our foreign key I mean this is just like a join column so these are our three tables we have created restaurant dishes restaurant address and the restaurant okay after we create the entities now what is the next thing I mean currently it's using this uh, synchronization true property otherwise you can write migrations and there are migration script you can see test migration migration generate migration run and then you can run the migration to the target database currently synchronized is true so it will check your entities first and create those tables automatically and we are good with that and it has added these constraints you can see uh, on delete and on update there is no actions there is no cascade delete and no cascade update happening until unless we specify 
okay so now in the next video we'll write the apis for the restaurant service once we have created all the tables 